friends, it's Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden on YouTube, and today we've got a ripper of a show. Yes, it's about my micro farm here in Byron Bay, Australia. I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown on what's going on, and talk about what I'm going to be teaching you, and how I'm going to be showing you all these different systems, so you can grow lots of fast food at home. You know you've got fast food, such as McDonald's and all that crappy stuff. Well, that's not live and life-giving. And it definitely doesn't have any nutrition like of something like this, say this red cabbage here does. It's basically blended as a superfood. A lot of people class it as a superfood. So what I'm going to be doing is just showing you what's going on in the farm and talking about what we're going to learn about in the future. And I really am excited to be able to show you all these new ways that I've been developing for growing lots and lots of fast food quickly that's super healthy super tasty and people are going to be asking you how did you do that wow i tell you microgreens farming can sometimes be really really hard work and uh well not that hard there is harder jobs right <laughs> harder jobs around other farming jobs which are much harder but you know i have my days where it is quite physically demanding and I need to get out there and basically, you know, start shoveling and moving that compost around. Now, what I'm doing here with this compost is I'm actually moving it out to the backyard. Now, I was buying it only in bags and occasionally getting big deliveries like this. But driving backwards and forwards in the car is just, you know, it's, it's, it's not productive. It's expensive and a real time waste. And I get stuck in traffic as well. So I decided to get two square meters of the compost, the chicken compost that I use in the garden. Now you can see here, I've got it mixed through, put in the corner next to my worm farm. I'm putting it through uh, a system that goes through the trays and then goes out in a systematic format so it can be planted, seeded, planted and put up onto the trays. Now, once it's up on the trays, they'll get covered over so the mice and things can't get them. And they'll grow out in the sun. And after about a week to two weeks, they're pretty much ready for harvest. Now, I've got to buy seed as well. So that comes in boxes and bulk. So basically, at the moment, you know, to run my business, I need the stands, the trays. I need the, the seed and I need the mix that I use to grow them in. And... Of course I need sunlight. Yes, I need plenty of sunlight on there and the good weather. And, uh, you know, I have fight with the odd pests and the odd bush turkey and things like that. But as far as microgreens farming going, it's a great little new business startup. And it's been trending for about the last five or six years now. And it's really getting popular in Australia, especially where I live in Byron Bay, as people really want this fresh food on their plate in the restaurants. And they really want to taste these zesty flavours that are just so fantastic for you. So in upcoming videos, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you, such as this uh, red cabbage here, how I'm growing it and how I'm growing it thickly and lusciously and then how I'm harvesting it so I can get it out to the restaurants. Now for you guys, it's pretty much the same of how you eat it at home. And you can mix it in different salads and things. It's so, so good for you. Now, these systems that I've developed are so simple, you're gonna be just going, wow, I can produce food. This is only one week old, right? That's ready for harvest now. But we're gonna let it grow on for about another week and get it really nice and thick and lush so we can get a lot more out of that tray. It's a cloudy day here today in Byron Bay. We're not getting a lot of sun coming through yet. We get a bit of rain, which is great for the microgreens because I don't have to water them today. And they can get some natural some natural rain on them as well as we're getting a little bit of sunlight. And there's a little bit coming through from the light here. But what I want to do is talk about moving your microgreens around to get the best optimum result. And this works exactly the same for seedlings. Different types of seedlings, different times of year. So we're going to be covering light and the light spectrum and getting the best growth out of your plants as soon as they possibly can so you get the most productive plants, producing you more food. We're also going to cover nutrition. Nutrition for your seedlings, nutrition for your plants, nutrition for your microgreens, and hey, you might even discover something more about chickens, such as our little friends over here. Spot, Penny, 
Henrietta's maybe in the shed or something. Thanks a bundle for coming to watch this show. Now, if you think it's a ripper of a show, just before we go, we've got more coming up about what's coming up in the future for the next show. But what I want you to do is leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends. Get the Marty's Garden Show out there because, you know, it's all about teaching you guys how to grow more fresh, healthy food at home, save money, interact with your kids, interact with the animals, interact with nature, and learn a lot more along the way. Because I'm learning too, and I'm sharing it all with you. So yeah, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you and any questions that you may have. Happy gardening. Keep watching on to see what's coming up next. Have a great day. Bye for now. In my next video, I'm going to be discussing why the worm farm is so important on my micro farm and why you should be considering using it also in your backyard vegetable garden. There's some worms right there. All right, keep an eye on the next video. It's coming up real soon. Mm.